Tesla update here on the 9th. So the title of this video is going to be, did we learn anything today? Uh, not really. I'll answer that pretty quickly. Not really. This could still be up or down. And normally you get better reads on this, but today they did not make anything obvious. We had that blast off at open. By nine o'clock, we had the high of the day. And since then, just chopped back and forth. So nothing really obvious. I would lean bullish overall for a few different reasons, though. Um, this move up from the bottom, <clears throat> unless it's an expanded flat, which I don't think so. That's too big of a move down. This looks like it's probably either 1 or A. I'll just put A or 1. And then we get that pullback right here. That hit the 0.5 fib. And right here, it does kind of look like we're setting up for a big move here. Not necessarily a big move, but at least like a big move like that. Um, the 1.61 fib is at 224. Or 225. Um, one of the scenarios that I listed in the last video was an ABC move. So it could technically, it could be this. going into the end of the week, it could do something like that to get down here to that 202 gap fill. Let's just see how far that would take it down. So the 1.61 fib is at, so we'd probably go up here to 226. Um, there's a supply zone right here, maybe hit that. And look where that would take us down here to 202. So why would it be ABC? That's just one of the possibilities because these are both ABC. This would make the whole thing WXY, like I talked about in the video, like that. So that's just one of the possibilities. Is it possible that we take off lower tomorrow? Yes, that's possible too. I would say I'm probably about 60 to 70% bullish compared to bearish here, short term. Just because, not only because this move out the gate was really bullish, and we got a pullback to the 0.5 fib, and this looks like it's going to break out, but also because if this were a first wave and we were making a second wave down like this, then um, I would expect QQQ to kind of be in the same pattern. But you can see here we made a higher high after the move down. So that makes me think that this is not a first wave down. This is likely a retracement from that move up. And actually, I think that the top was right here. So I need to actually change the target. Target is around 224. But that would be either... C or three. Because again, this could be the breakout too. We don't know yet. So I would lean towards this not being a first wave, but it is possible. It is possible though still that you get something like this and then we come down here. So it might go So it's possible it's still in a fourth wave. It's possible it could break out. And that's why in this video I'm naming it, did anything change after today? Nothing really changed. The video I gave earlier, I gave you three scenarios. I said A, B, C, like that. I said breakout. And who knows how high it would go on a breakout. And I said fourth wave, potentially. Like that. All of those are still valid in my opinion. So we just got to see what happens if it breaks out of this range. If it breaks above 219.86 tomorrow, then I would say that we are probably going up to at least 224. If we hold 219, then it's possible we come down right away. So really, I'm leaning bullish, but... Um, 
if I'm leaning bullish, it could be a B wave again. It could end up being that. So then QQQ, we look at QQQ and it could be doing the same thing, but this is more of a five wave pattern. It didn't make a new low. So I'm looking at this potentially it bottomed right here. Um, or same thing. They don't make it obvious here. This is a first wave down. This is a second wave. And tomorrow we see more weakness down to the 200 DMA. So I am probably taking a small position size here. I'm not going to like gamble on either way because it's probably not smart. There's no supply and demand. We're not, we're not in any supply and demand. We are not, um, we did reclaim the 20 DMA. So that's a little bit bullish. So that's another reason why I'm leaning a little bit bullish. We're above the 20 now, closing above it. We have the 50 up here around my target of 224 for the third wave. So for all those reasons, I think a bull move is most likely, but you can't count out count you can't count out the bear move. So I'll leave it at that. Not really that much to go over. Watch the last video if you want a more detailed breakdown of the three moves that could happen from here. But I am 60-40 bullish from here, at least up to 224.